make sure all the water lines in and outs are hooked up to the mold correctly. Incorrect connections can cause cold or hot spots in the mold and therefore influence the part quality. It is also a good idea to measure the water flow rate through the cooling system. A low flow rate could indicate a scale buildup in the coolant passages, which can greatly reduce mold and therefore part cooling efficiency. Plastic cooling is usually the longest part of the molding cycle, so it's important that it be kept to a minimum. The best mold temperature is the lowest temperature setting that will make good parts. However, low mold temperatures, particularly in thin parts, can reduce the ability of the plastic to flow to the point where the cavities may not fill. Low mold temperatures also generally increase the amount of stress in the molded parts. These factors determine how low the mold temperature setting can be.